Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Episode 3. Now, I've had issues with microphones lately, um, that's why I've not been able to post Episode 3. Um, so I should be way ahead right now, um, but now I've sorted my microphone issue out, I had to order a new headset basically, um, because my actual microphone just gave in and um, now I've got this headset. I'm actually looking forward to getting to this third shrine um, because after this we go to the Temple of Time and we, well, we're supposed to see Zelda. I don't know if we will um, because that'll be too easy. So um, let's make our way to the new shrine or another shrine and uh, hopefully we get another ability because there's more room for um, so I'm quite interested what we will find. Um, so I've just done the second shrine and we have the fuse ability which allows us to fuse together rocks into weapons and other stuff. So we have something here. We can try fuse build weapon. Okay, we've got a treasure chest here. Arrows. We're finding a lot of arrows, which is great. I'm so tempted to just explore and you know just do side missions because you you can easily get carried away doing that. What I have just given you is an energy cell. Okay, yes, it is required to make use of tools known as zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system and they can teach you how to use this. Take care. Bye bye. Let's make our way down. So, right now I'm just scavenging and just trying to look for. Um, trying to look for anything, anything I can find. Um, whether it's weapons, food, new discoveries. Um, so I'm just going to try and climb this small cliff. Let's see what's up here. I'm still naked. I need a, at least a shirt. Stamella Shroom. Okay, so we've seen those in the last... Zelda. Right, let's have a look up this big tree. Usually there's eggs or uh, we might have a, a Korok. Yes, I was right. Keep weird thing. Um, so the more we collect them, when we do meet Hestu, we can um, improve our inventory. So uh, let's make our way down. Okay, let's go back on this way. Don't want to break a leg. So like I mentioned it before, um, you can easily get sidetracked in this game because it's such a big world, there's so many side missions or side quests if you want to call it, and oh we got some, we got some company right down there. fighting each other. I might just let them battle it out and reduce their own energy. Two jellies did the half the job for me. Distracted them. And I thought I'd 
just want to check if I got enough decent weapons. I might drop this one and get another thick stick. Shrine right at that mountain top. Oh, I should say floating mountain top. It's blowing arrow now. So much easier. Oh, we got We've already seen one of them. A tree balance, tree, uh, a tree branch with added grip and excellent balance. We'll keep it and use it as a weapon. I will do. I do need to get drop something though. Um, let's drop one of these. Oh, I didn't do that. Let's go back and drop you. I mentioned before, I sometimes forget that we have a, a stamina meter, or, and uh, you can easily forget if you're like running around a lot to you lose your energy. You can, uh, Let's um, sit here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so uh, we're gonna sit by the fire until the morning because we don't want all of those things popping up at night. I don't know if that happens on these floating islands. Um, so, but you know, daytime is always great. I do see some fish. I think it's fish here. There we go. Ancient arowana, a lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. It's nutritious. Meat can restore a bit of health. Yes, we need some of that. I think it takes some more. Okay, that will help us. Oh, there's another one. No, it's not. Okay, so let's, uh, like, this is what I mean. <laughs> you can easily get sidetracked just looking for stuff. Um, but let's go in this cave. Okay, so we've got Pond Side Cave. Bright bloom seed, a seed that often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will take root and bloom and give off faint light from a small flower. Okay, let's try that. Um, yes. Light up this whole place. So I don't know if we're supposed to... I oh know, once they're lit, you can't take them. I take all of these monster pots. All right, okay, so we've got some ore here. I do need my boulder hammer. Rock salt. So we already know what that is. That uh, help us with cooking. Um, oh, it's a big frog there. Okay. Oh, what am I supposed to do? 
Oh. A booble gem. A strange crystal left by defeated bullfrogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Okay. I just take and keep collecting. I like these bloom, bright bloom flowers. So I'm gonna take some, and then I light this one up. Some more ore. Got some flint. That'll help us. What's underneath here? Nothing. Archaic tunic. Yes, please. Finally got some clothes. Finally got a top. <laughs> It. It's, it's just like a Greek tunic. Yeah, I'm on the sky island. It's in the caves. Have a chat here. Mm. Raru. The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs, you'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialities that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Mm. You should take time. Oh, sorry. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. Okay, let's uh, talk to this one. Maker construct. These river rafts are seriously damaged. They may be beyond repair. This could present a problem. Okay. Right. The rafts are broken. The Zonai devices will be useless until they are fixed. Yes, they are tools that we employ. Do you not know of them? They are necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. Though I cannot teach you, I am occupied with figuring out how we can possibly make repairs. Ask the construct next to the fan for more information. Okay, he's passing me on the boat. They're all passing me on to the next one. Okay. The rafts from crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinary where we send resources across the river. Oh, this is ordinarily. <laughs> 
where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Okay, can you tell us what Zonai devices are? Uh, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinous... Multitudinous purposes. I hope I said that correctly. Using Zonai devices does require energy. As external energy cell, an external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. This is a relief. Okay, yeah, he did give me one before I did get one of these. Ah. But perhaps a refresh explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while zonal devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out of inopportune moments. Okay, so you can't just use it willy-nilly. You have to reserve the energy. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for a raft. Zona devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you'll be, you will find may, many ways to employ them. Right, I am mumbling my words a little bit because this uh, it's night time right now and um, I want to quickly get to that third shrine. So, okay, uh, we've got some. So I can make this into a raft. Oh, wrong one. Let's put this together. And attach it. Twist it. So these are the fans. I've seen this when the one of the creators was playing it, or one of the producers. Um, so I did see that video. Press on rotate. Maybe I need two, so I should. Yeah. Let's use. Let's put one on either side. One there. And get this one. And rotate. I'm just going to put attach these as well and see if these work. A proper raft. This should work. Wait, actually, we do need a sail. Is there a sail anywhere? I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just plonk it here. I should turn this around and face it towards the other side. Okay. And now I can... working but oh, this is so cool Ta -da, we have, oh, I do need to switch it because to save the energy stock up so, so far there's some cool weapons uh, I mean cool abilities 
that we have. Uh, we've got fuse and we have. Um, what is this? I think it's a sword. Okay, so like I said before, we've got some interest, interest in um, abilities now, the fuse and the ultra hand, and this makes Zelda so much more powerful, I would say. Um, Zelda, sorry, Link, <laughs> Link more powerful now. Um, and it's different to the Breath of the Wild where you just have a sword and you're just swinging around and you're collecting different types of weapons, which is still cool. I love collecting all of these different kinds of weird and wonderful weapons. But now we've got these kind of magical um, abilities which makes it more interesting. And uh, I should talk to that construct. Oh, are you going this direction? He's a ranger construct. This mountain pass is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain pass. Shall I tell you them? Uh, let's go. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or warm yourself. Okay, now I have to start a fire and I know I can cook, so goodbye. Don't worry if you need to hear these explanations again. I will provide them whenever you want. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You can, um, you can just pick up a flint like this. And if you wanted to, if you don't know, you just pick up and hold it. And I can place it here. And then I will have to just hit it. And voila, we've got fire. Do some cooking here. Let's see what we can do. So we've got a bit of salt. I might just make some salted fish. Oh, that wasn't good. I missed the pot entirely. So again, I'm gonna hold a couple of fish and let's just. Oh, wait, actually, we can put. Stam bulb. Actually, we just let's see what the salt and the fish does. Right, cook. <laughs> Salted grilled fish. Simply a simple dish made by rolling a whole fish in natural rock salt before grilling it. So I do not have much cooked, so I should make some more. Let's try this. We'll try five mushrooms. Cook. <laughs> Mushroom skewer. And we can try... A fruit that generates heat when struck cooked correctly. It heat, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Okay, let's try maybe five. And cook. <laughs> Scorching simmered fruit. Grants a low level attack enhancement in hot places. This sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. Okay, I better go because I could carried, get carried away here. Um, I don't need that rusty sauce. I'm going to just keep on moving. And, um, 
I'm so tempted to just explore everywhere. Tree branch. I did hear something. Onwards and upwards. Something being guarded, it's a treasure chest. where I am, except for this one with the three eyes. He sort of knows that I'm behind here. Oh, he's got me now. Right. I need two. Oh, I need a dish. Okay, maybe. Wow. One little attack and he's taken me out. And I do need some more food. Let's have this. <laughs> and we've done it. There's a lot of goodies around here. Got a rusty shield, we need another bow. The shield, the rusted sword. Oh, a Zonai charge. A soldier reaper, I think, is pretty good, so I might just take another Zonai reaper. Let's uh, remove this rusty sword. Or we take the soldier's reaper. Okay. Not too bad. So cool. So, so far, we've got so much arrows everywhere. Everything I like smash is mostly arrows or apples. Another bunch of five arrows. That's my one. See if there's any wall that needs to be broken or right, we've got some carts here. Mining construct. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have any blight, br blight, <laughs> bright bloom seeds? Yes, I do. What a relief. You would not otherwise be able to see anything as you proceed. Bright bloom seeds grow primarily in caves. They are, they work, they, <laughs> apologize. 
there was a time once when they grew here as well. This cave has been mostly picked clean of them and that is because it is especially dark, the seeds were often necessary. My associates often forgot to bring black bloom seeds. I am posted here to provide a reminder. Use them to light your way. If you are proceeding ahead, watch your step. Thank you very much for that long explanation. Unusual mineral that has many purposes, agents, 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 extracted energy from it and refined it for a crafted weapons and armor. Right, it's getting dark here, and this is the only time I get a chance to play this game. Um, but I'm so adamant to play this game right now, um, nothing's gonna stop me. Even if I mumble the words, I apologize. So if you are enjoying this gameplay, leave a message down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm um, also, if anything you want to add, you know, or tell me something I missed. Oh, who is that? That is a frog. It's a bullfrog or some kind. Some more zonite. Oh, that's all we have here. Just thinking I should equip this and these right. forge construct apologies for not noticing I was focused on processing zonite are you unfamiliar with it this is a zonite I mentioned it is a unique mineral that can be minded, minded, mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Processing. Zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Alright, we got a cutscene. Or not. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sort of, what sort of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonar technology is typically powered by zonar charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonar into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Okay, what are these crystallized charges? Our solidified form of zonite charges. We may mainly use them as raw materials in the construction of energy cells. Do you need 
Anything else? Explain? No, thank you. Please visit any time you require. Process, process materials. Okay. Can I take these? Oh, okay. Do I buy these then? Let's take about five. You want five, I'll require 15 pieces of them. Okay. have these, but I'll just take another five. Let's make our way. All right. Ah, I have not given permission to take those. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? Okay, there's more to this Zonai stuff. You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. No, I don't. Please explain. Zonai capsules are co convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Okay, I've got... Oh, it's a, the devices in the capsules so I can carry them. The Zonai devices that produces wind with internal propeller. It's likely that Zonai has made smart use of the wind power to transport objects and generate thrust. The ones I gave you were fan types, you can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zone advisors are useful and come in many varieties. I will always I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to help keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spare that I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be back put back into a capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Good to know. Right, let's so if I... Oh, I got the wrong... The Ultra Hand. And we need a fan. We don't have a fan. There is... Another. Let's take some, some of this so light. Just gonna always um stock up. Right, so I did put a cart there, and oh, he did give me capsules so now I can use these capsules take out device yes that would do oh no so we just want one Still getting a hand to get hold of hand. Right. That should do it. Let's go. Let's get out of this cave. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Whoa. So this game must have a new engine. They must really work hard on it because it does look, uh, the, well, the graphics look a lot more impressive than the first one and I'm, I'm still impressed with the Breath of Wild uh, but this one is you know, a step ahead um, so they have worked hard on this. There you go, we've got Laro here as well. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell 
when we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Mm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies in a way it was this place of beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of its bell stir fond memories in me. Okay, good to know. So, I mean, that's it's a clue, but I can see that shrine over there. Like, I, I, to be honest, it feels like it's taken forever for me to get there because there's so much stuff to do on the way. Um, so, I'm gonna. Oh, what is this? Let's talk to this. Maker Construct Device Dispenser Operation confirmed on track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I have nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct forms and Zonai charges. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain Zona capsules? No, I already know that. Okay. Right. Can he just leave us be? Let's try chuck something in here. Um, so he did say soldier construct horn. Let's chuck a couple of these in there. Oh, nice. What, we, what do we have? Portable pot. A zona device for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. It lasts for one. So it lasts for cooking one recipe only. The device is easy, easier to use on flat surfaces. Okay, we have that. Flame emitter. A zona device that shoots fire. It's for to have been originally used as protection from monsters and a fan. Okay, so let's try adding like five. Such a rookie. Did he say? So we can also put. Okay, we put. That. Captain's construct. <laughs> Got flame in it. Nothing. Okay, that's enough. We need all the hours we can get. This is awful. Where's my friend? Uh, you can see me. I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. Okay, this is another one of those. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired though, I can't move. All right, so you need my help. Is 
there any more? Oh, no, we've got... <laughs> we have a cart here. We could just use the cart. I think it'd be easier. Right, we do need a fan. I can use my own. So we can I don't know what I did there, but let's just side. United at last, thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Two Korok seeds. Not bad day's work. Oh, there's a bunch of arrows here. It's not bad. Just coming across here. Oh, we've got a treasure chest. Okay, we'll take that. go back because I did see that cave and I want to get to that shrine otherwise I get carried away and nothing's going to get done. So I'm going to revisit this place if I can. For now I need to stick to the plan and get to that bird shrine. Unless I can go from that way. I keep forgetting to switch these off. Spicy pepper. This pepper is exploding with spice. Cook it with it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold. Let's please, I need all of that. Yeah. 
Temple of Time. Probably it's out of thing. Are we up? We're taking too long. little bunny that runs away. Oh, come back to this later. Let's have a word with this guy here. Ranger Construct. Excuse me, the snowy mountains above us. It's extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? I am uh, well aware of what to do, uh, but let's listen to this ranger. Inefficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguards used by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using ingredients with warm sounding names. Any such ingredients were suffice. suffice. Some also wore thick clothes or warmed themselves by a fire. These solutions were effective by less accessible, but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients. When cooking, my understanding is that only one cooking effect can apply per meal. You must take care not to eat something with a different effect afterwards. The chill will set in again sooner than you expect. I know that already in the first game. Even though I didn't complete it, I do need to complete that game. So if you guys want me to play The Legend of Zelda Breath of Wild, because um, I, I do want to revisit that, to complete that. Um, I would love to do another Let's Play um, just for that game. There's a bunch of tunnels here. Right, I'm just going to keep heading towards. Get to that shrine as quick as possible. Right, maybe. Oh, there we go. Thought I was going the wrong way then. I need to. What if I just eat this? Will that work? Oh, no, it doesn't. So I should have just made some. Right, let's just set a fire here. Need the fire in the end. Right, so let's uh, cook up some grub. Let's cook five of these. Oh, twelve minutes. Okay. So, oh, you can check the recipes. That's that's really good. Okay, we have this. <sighs> and then we make our way. <laughs> A white choo choo jelly. A jiggly substance that came from an ice choo choo. It's cool to touch and squeeze, and it seems to relieve stress. If struck, it will explode in a cold mist. Oh, that's why I'm closing. Hit. We got Rora here again. Hmm. The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I am terribly sorry for any treat they pose 
A threat, sorry, tree. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I just said tree. I am terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Right, like I said, it's, it's late night, so it's the only time I can play it. Um, but if you do um, play this game, do play it during the day. At least you're fresh then. This guy is really putting up a challenge. I'm trying to take that challenge. Alright, we've got a pot here as well. Should get out of here because I've got 11 minutes left. Right, so that shrine is right up there. Maybe I need to climb this. I always tend to forget that we don't have much stamina. First time I'm running away from choo choo jellies. Right, everything's falling to bits. You see me? Red choo choo jellies, seen them before. Ooh, flame emitter. Right, let's get rid of a weapon because I want to try that. Wow, that is a great weapon. <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to get to this first shrine. I mean, how could you not explore this great sort of plane? Um, these islands are just incredible. There's so much to do. Um, I'm just getting carried away. Right, uh, there are bombs. That's what I did. A flower bomb, a dangerous flower that contains explosive elements does not mix well with fire or electricity unless the goal is to blow things. Okay, so, right, this is a flower. Um, let's see what's... Right, okay. Uh... Some salt, take that. 
Palm down link. that little bunny or whatever it is <laughs> oh, we got a treasure chest here familiar with uh, Legend of Zelda you are going to be collecting and rummaging through a lot of stuff and uh, oh, we've got something waiting there right can I use this now? this Ooh, you took it This is the first boss. Right, back here up another one. Give him another treat. I don't know why I did that, but uh, I'm gonna place that here. You can have that, it's all yours. That doesn't work. Gotta get a little bit closer. Like like stone, a strange round stone from a like like made of crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. So I think that that thing is called a like like. Oh. Opal. It's another rock.
I do have one of those, so let's try it. Job there. Right, I don't know why I did that, but I'm still trying to get used to this. I'm just fighting for these really beautiful rocks. Like a treasure hunter. He is the real Indiana Jones. Might better make my way to this uh, shrine. Could I just climb up here? This would just make sense. Well, you can do it, Link. Yes, we made it. There, but I'm gonna just head in to this <laughs> shrine because it took me so long. Okay, there we go. It's time to get another ability. So that took a little while because there is so much to explore, so much to just learn about because when you're starting out you're going to be just you know talking to these constructs all day 
And then also Raru just shows up and he shines some light oh. and tells you something that you don't understand. So you've made it here now then. Extend your right hand. We've got another ability. In my weird hand. I should say my cool hand. Ascend. Move upwards through solid material and emerge on top of it. Mm. This is Ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use Ascend and receive the blessings from this shrine. Right. Okay. That's interesting. So I can... Pretty cool. That is so cool. Alright, so I can ascend here. And there's a treasure chest. <laughs> Stone axe, which we already have. So weird, but so cool at the same time. Construct bow. Right, we drop one of these. Too bad, that was pretty easy. Okay, this one's moving. <laughs> swimming through stuff. Let's just run through this concrete. Right, that was it then. There you go, first shrine is done. Now I'm looking forward to going to the Temple of Time. You have done well to reach this place. And uh, let's get this. Light blessing, thank you very much. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay, bye bye then. So there you have it. We have all three shrines done. Now it's time to go to Temple of Time and meet Zelda. Now I don't 
believe she'll be there like I mentioned before I think it's just gonna cut to a scene or maybe her memory but here is Raru oh. I see you have stored some power to that new arm of yours mm. the door into the temple of time should now open for you There you go, guys. That is all I have for today. Um, it was a little bit difficult. I was mumbling the words a little bit because it is nighttime here, like I mentioned before. I wish I have a glider so I could just glide down. Um, but um, yeah, that's all we have. That was the first shrine. And um, yeah, looking forward to a uh, another Let's Play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'll see you in the next one.